here, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with the gorgeous new Simply Floral stamp set from Mudra. I've chosen the largest flower in the set and I'm stamping it in a Copic Friendly Ink Memento Tuxedo Black and stamping it across the two opposite corners on my card front. Now it's time for my Copic colouring and I've chosen a range of colours in the RV range. Fairly bold colours today for this gorgeous flower. And you'll see me first of all with the RV29 just putting some flicks of colour at the base of the petal and at the tip of the petal. Then I'm blending that RV29 with RV25 and of course that's giving me that lighter colour through the centre of the petal. The idea of that is to give the petal that curved shape, to accentuate that curved shape that they already have. All right, so that's, that's my idea of colouring the petals in that way. And then I'm using these two lighter colours in the RV range, 23 and 21, for those little highlight accents on the petals. I'll let you enjoy the colouring now and I'll come back to share a bit more when it's finished. So now all my Copic colouring is finished and I'm just lining up the Memory Box Pinpoint Double Frame Die and I've cut that from the centre of my coloured piece and that will be my little area for a sentiment. So I'm using my grid mat, my acetate grid, just lining up my sentiment there again from the same beautiful new stamp set and then I will stamp that out in Versafine Onyx Black, such a great ink for sentiment stamping, always nice and, and clear and crisp. And then it's just a matter of popping up that die cut piece to give it some lovely dimension. So first of all just using my double sided tape, which I have on a large 
sticky tape dispenser. I've run out of my tape runner, so I've gone back to my double-sided tape until I can buy some more. And grabbing an old bit of a scrap piece of red craft foam there just to back my little die cut piece using some liquid glue and adhering that first of all onto the die cut piece and then into the centre of my card. Now you'll see I've got the gorgeous mudra sequin sequins there in candy pink and gorgeous neon green and they were just the perfect little accent around my flowers and a few little dollops of gold nouveau drops and my card is complete.